kind of made that part up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think feeling okay for a moment. Takes a bit of damage, is able to use that healing orbit. Heal up and BCJ bringing up the Calvary for three. What a way to get started after you lose the map, but it's battles back almost immediately, unfortunately. For finesse, he's only good for two as he hops onto the side. Teams play this way, but making attacking squads earn this round that they have to take. And they're going to find the first frenzy shot's going to go wide. Finesse to fall, and it is just the anti eco. But if you're an NV or an NV fan, you're at least open. They could damage the economy, but we did says no way, Jose, for three. For envy. You're deep in it. Enemy lines able to really cause a ruckus here, picking up finesse, and he is not done being an annoyance. It's starting to sting. I would imagine they know we did still hanging out towards showers. No, they have absolutely the squad as they get spotted out. Now the spike to be planted. Kaboos gonna find one. Dwipo trades it back. Crash is gonna stick the plant and dodge out. Takes a few rounds through the wall from Hookah. Dwipo once more closes things out. 3 0 for Exet. I applaud the catchy's discovery of a vulnerable. Defense and well, despite the back and forth, they come out on top. Their first round on the board. Moving its way over to the restrooms. Crashies is able to finally take Curie and pause things for a second. Oh, oh. find a kill on to Victor. Not oh. really expected it. Another one for BCJ. The spike finally to be planted, but Aaron pushed in, and there it is. We said they're back and forth in series, but yeah, I'm gonna hold that thought for a second. Aaron finds the first. And making sure that no one can get through the teleporter without him knowing about it. And there he is taking down Aaron and rotating through the hookah. Four on two post by now. Right? You cut down one and the rest of the members going to be hanging out over towards that long area. I wonder how many lineups Ness knows for this one. One snake bite still in the back pocket. Paint shells gonna go through. They know two, maybe all three. They might have spotted them all. They're gonna trade the paint shells back and forth. We go, but they're running out of time. They have to send it for the double kill, and he's gonna do it. And Weeded is on the spike. Here we go. Exit battle back. Hey, Tanner. He's dropping downhill. You, you, you never know what to expect. You get that feeling as your stomach drops. You're gonna drop in. Oh my goodness. Envy started to fall all over the site, but Crashy is not giving up just yet. He's able to trade two back a seconds after canceling. So that pickup. Allows a bit more cover, unfortunately, doesn't allow you to aim a bit better. Crash is now spotted out and create some damage. Force reload surely is going to be taken down here. Three members to worry about and only 31 health. It's left to go in this half and they are falling well behind. Seven to five is the best they could hope for here. And that's a good way to you know, start nudging that way as BCJ battles the back. Wipo is there to peek off the back end. He's going to look for the alt orb, unfortunately, not going to find it in time. So Dwipo dies. He does get the resurrection online, but it won't be available in this round. And it's all up to pure. No, the ultimate tag to run it back from Victor. He side opened up. Finesse still lurking on the opposite end. So even on the Viper, looking to play that sentinel role and be that lurker that they need. Dwipo finds that next kill. B side again, like I said, completely opened up thus far. It's a resurrection. It's going to be a retake across the world here. Yeah, Spike has yet to be planted. They have the four on three now with that all oh, crashy still. The trigger discipline letting them run by. Oh no, misses out on the second and Pura makes him pay for it with his life. And now Pura getting healed up on top of that, really setting in the advantage here for Exet. Oh my goodness. 30 seconds left. That play right there is... You want to give so much love for the trigger discipline, but then you see the timing that comes into it. And it's Pure who swings around outside of U-Haul here to spot the crashes who's been behind enemy lines and is able to get so much so he's forced to take that shot. Now Envy are running out of time and Mummy forced to stick to plant the paint shells to push him off and he's running out of time running. Ooh, Finesse able to spot one. It was Aaron trying to pick up the orb there as they push on through the poison cloud. He did find that kill, taking all the ash drop. And a wall on the opposite side. So Finesse, he does get spotted. He does get taken down, but he was blocked off for just a moment as Xset find themselves up a player. The spike has since been planted. We did looking to make it hurt a bit more. Unfortunately, only able to stall and buy some time as Kaboo finds the kill and looks to bring up the rear through Luka. Crashy. Doing the same as they go back and forth, they battle it out, but it's Envy on top, and there it is, the best way to mount. Though, of course, fake fighting, so no, no one's actually getting hurt. 
You like safety stage. Now. Yeah, stage just like the matches we're watching here. It's all stage. It's all written in script. We know who's going to win, but we want to keep uh, you guys on your toes. Be careful with quick kills come. It's back and forth. Now a 3v2 is X set. They're starting to lose it. BCJ. Full HP, full shields. Only half HP here on air. And he's going to be the first to contact. Finds Finesse. He should be able to grab the spike, but 18 seconds. Oh, he might have to send it, and Mummy finds two back to back. The wall, in terms of not only Arsenal in this round, but economy moving into the next couple. Finesse shots on target, but he's going to be finished off by the paint gels. Caboose is there to trade it back, but we did go choose with the Sheriff. A 3v3 and a Spectre now in the hands of Pure. Uh -oh. As the shock darts look to chip away, Victor coming on through, backing up the team on the flank. The curveball's there, the shots are on target, and we find ourselves in a 1v1, but it's a shock guard from Crashies to close it out. Completely corralled, and they don't even know it. Crashies picks up a couple more off the back end of a failed Hunter's Fury. After this. Oh, mommy. I mean, this is, it's inevitable, right? The, the op on mommy... It is inevitable. Eventually, it will happen, and we're finally getting to see it. It's two stacked up. Oh, up operator frag. They are dominating the bathroom. The op shot there against Mummy, but they're not able to capitalize on it here. Lots of action popping off on the site. Even exchange thus far. Ults traded back and forth. Now XS starting to come out on top of Victor answering back on the flank. Leaving it up to the two on site, but the spike is down. It has to be Rattelin. Will he check the corner? He does, yes, but he then he looks away in finesse. Back online. The Grabwell paint shells combo. Snake bite looking to slow the push for just a second. And I don't think this ult's gonna get a whole lot of utility. At the very least, it did buy some rotations, but that spike isn't in oh, any man. position to go the other way. Now it's on the ground as Mummy found that first kill and exit. I mean, they're just running right into the weapons here. They're running, gunning, up close and personal, but Mummy sits him down. He finds a third, and it's all up to Thwaifo, but he's got... It's another eco here. Exit just buying what they can. Nobody misses the shot. Allows them in, but a crossfire is set up. And things get a whole lot scarier. Boost goes up top. What goes up must combine. 30 seconds on the clock. Viper be Viper and Weeded comes out on top. He heard one snake bite to work with. That's going to last about eight seconds. But obviously, you have to be wary of the damage that it does as well. Now, this is going to cut out the noise here. So the diffuse starts to come on through. There's the snake bite. Mame just looking to stick it only halfway, but he jumps off. He's able to get back up top. 77 health. The spike is halfway. Weeded has to peak and it's an ace to get it done. Plant was gestured for a second. It's a shock daughter. It's a push on in. It's Caboose to find the kill to drop the spike. Now 12 seconds on the clock. And I mean, you have to go for it here. You're running out of time if you're X set. And you still have to get the spike planted. We did going to fall as is the Viper's pit. And it's all up to Thwaifo once more. But he's out of time and he doesn't have the members in front of him. He will event Cubby position. A couple of upgrades have since come on through. Victor going to push her with the run it back. He will be sent right back. And Pure actually finds the flank. That could have been huge for Caboose. But he spotted out. Now they know. Oh my goodness, 15 HP, and he does it again. Uh, perfectly for this. We see the pivot from <gasps> Xset. They take Finesse down and Bathurst, but they're still committing the spike into Hookland. Victor's found we did. Now they try to shuffle back to short A, but there's already a rotation taking place here for Envy. And now look at the confirmation with this push from Victor outside of Hookah. Crash, he's comes up with two. Oh my goodness. Spike down A. All down to this. It's all for both sides. But that is... You know, not considering the fact that Xset recently have been able to kind of go a little bit even with him the last four rounds or so. He's across the map in a 4v3 retake over towards the safe side until that Sova links up with the squad. It's unfortunately, the barrier orb taken down. We did looking to play around with that poison cloud as the spike ticks down. Yeah, really good catch on Tawine, catching Victor, even though he seemed to have a jump on them. And now they seem to be closing in on the post plant. We did it. Aaron combining for several frags. They're wiping the floor within. Labor battle takes up there. Yeah. Envy comes out on top, however, but only for a short time. Aaron quick to get it back to the three on three here. They're trying to take control of that A site. And what a play. That it felt like. The most 
Uh, unexpected bait and switch is finesse unspotted on the barrier orb is gonna hop onto the site breaking the ankles taking a bit of damage has been heard the three remaining for X set all hovered underneath or huddled together rather Paint oh, oh. gonna do some chip damage they're gonna push right into it and caboose to close it out the rifle around it force back on tree wall now up to block the archway but mummy holding the site here from the back corner able to dispatch knows that one's main The shot. Range as BCJ seconds. tries to find something. Unfortunately, 23 HP is where he'll find himself. We did. Snuck onto the site, picked up a kill, but it's still not enough. It's still a player advantage to Envy. The Owl oh, Drone. No. Oh my goodness. Crashes, hops out in really tough spot as they stampede onto the site. Not even going to find one. Splits the uprights as Victor closes it out. And Envy tie us up. Whole lot this way. If you're gonna go up top, cosmic divide used by Aaron, and it's the shock darts again from Crashies to pick up a double kill. Flank. Ooh, BCJ about to spot it out though. Rifle now out. Picks up the first, able to find the second, and he's able to make it an even retake in a 3v3, but HP is low. Aaron, BCJ, they've seen better days in the blast pack. To chip away a bit more. If you're BCJ, you just have to hope for the best. The Hunter's Fury gonna tag the toes of Mummy. He's able to hop away. This didn't happen. Poor Mummy. Huge grab well. But yeah, Mummy not able to find the shots on target. It was BCJ instead who had already pushed onto the A site. To find the kill. We did. Was chipped away. 5 HP. Here comes Viper's Pit. Onto the site, welcome to my innate domain, says we did. Trying to hold it down, 9 HP between the two members. Dwipho is going to heal himself up. Oh, Showstopper going to find its mark. The Viper's Pit to go down, and Caboose looking to close it out again. And he does just that. Caboose. ECJ narrowly escaping with his life there. You can't say the same for Caboose. The Spectre from downtown, but I cursed him. Finesse pushes up, finds a shot oh. on target, and Mummy! He's watching the high ground. You can't go up to find the shot on Finesse because the operator is there. And now it's starting to fall apart. Mummy's still alive, still finding kills as we did will fall. He's going to hop up with the classic. A pistol in hand, and he does it. The thing is, the defense is kind of split up. And Mummy gets caught. And now it's a 1v1. Now, Finesse is able to drop the turret as an early alert system. Aaron's going to make sure that the long con around market can't be a play. It kind of forces Finesse just to stay here. It's all gonna come down to duels now. He sets to start to try to left. cause a little bit of a scramble of his opponent. Them in. Here's the footsteps, though. I believe he put that star down and Finesse tried to run out of the corner. Hypo, I, I guess, delays that push for a second. Victor looking to go aggressive. It's a buy round for X set, so they're just completely disrespecting here as two quick kills come in response. BCJ gonna pick up a third, make it a fourth! If you blinked, you missed it. The Hunter's Fury goes huge. And now Finesse needs to do the same. What a weird, back. weird round. The aggression from Envy with the Seekers is to try to pinch onto B-Lobby, but the Wifo able to use the wall to perfection to isolate duels, get a victory on the B-Lobby push, and set his team up for now a three-on-one. Finesse is in a good position, but just too many people. Oh, no way. No way. Okay. Oh, my. My heart almost crashes now. Papa and the early Hunter's Fury not finding really any results. And Xset and BCJ coming up with the first couple of kills. Mummy does respond. Xset, I mean, you got 35 seconds to work with. So you have some time to play. Let's see what they do with the play out towards mid. Finesse to try and hold it down. He sprays down one, sprays down another. And a little bit of damage onto Pure puts us in a 2v3. Mummy still has the operator in hand. And we got, got a nice time. angle for it. Oh, a cap on that smoke gives Mummy a chance to fit an off shot through and it lands. But we did a brilliant flank, getting it back into a two versus one against a weakened caboose. He needs to stop the plant. Oh, Not man. able to do it. Shoot. Playing, playing with the timing of the trailblazer there. On the outside is Aaron going toe to toe, op v op, and Mummy to fall. Aaron swaps over to a rifle he had yep. purchased. And finds another kill. Victor is there, but not a whole lot he can get done. Crash is oh, gonna wow. stop here, pushing up towards mid, and here we go. That's two huge. for two across the map, and a couple of large ultimates off the board. It's only gonna be that Viper's hit, but they're stuck right. inside the nano swarm, and they're getting mowed down. Now Weeded needs to come up clutch, but he can't do it. Se you know, to get those rounds that they need. And they try to push through. Cat Finesse able to catch one to keep Envy a man ahead, and now a free A site. Trailblazer comes through also to clear out tree position. And so Envy are primed to win this post plant. 
But we'll see what Exit had to say about it. Wifel will go for the self heal to set up this retake. And down on the side, BCJ still keeping that high ground. Unbeknownst to them, all four players playing off of the side. Three out towards main, guiding Lycan to find the blind. Ash is here to try and back it up. He's got the recon bolt as well for the tags, the kills to come on through now, BCJ. The heroics in order here. 34 HP, but out of time. Is just looking to make sure nobody's keeping a ghost on the way out, trying to find an alt pip, and he will do just that in the form. You are not done yet. I just can't believe that timing, that triple push, just catching the perfect moment to push in on Crashies, who just happened to look away at the wrong time. Back onto Mummy. And Mummy walked back into that recon bolt for that tag to be possible. Huge An awkward spot. The Trailblazer gonna push Wipe oh, away, wow. but Aaron is there to back him up, and it's the buddy system on defense. Coming online for this XZ squad. One bird is going to toss the Seekers, the Guiding Light to find the Flash. Now looking to play around. My bow to grab well is there. The gra grab this one back. It was a good start to the round from XZ, but equally good response from Envy. Couple players on site, one in the lobby, and that player basically being riddled useless by the utility of XZ as they come barraging into the site. Crashy just stranded. Gets one, but can what a round. It looked like they should be done for. Was that a classic frag headshot onto we did? <laughs> Anything there. It's Wifo to sit him down and try and reclaim a tie here. Crashies picked up another. Hanging out. They're running out of seconds. Only 12 left on the clock. I'm going to find the first. The plants come Go down. Check. They haven't spotted out. Aaron finds the first. Finds the second. Not going to make it a third. But Mummy's running out of time. He has just enough to plant the spike. But NV. No, oh, excuse me, Exit, our Nebula Smoke, Nano Swarms, Crashy on 13 HP will fall. Now, or before we go, as Victor to find another kill. The spike has since been planted. Pure has the blades online. There it is, Mummy's Cosmic Divide as well. BCJ coming from the flank, the Hunter's Fury to try and lock things down on site. Mummy to fall to the Operator, Twyfo to pick up two, and that's Exit to close out. Looking to find those kills, looking to get aggressive spots. Mummy now. Oh, and Galactic and caught with the bow as Crashy Twyfo picks it up. And did I call it or did I call it? Two kills, the resurrection, another one to follow. As Pure locks down that tree area, Finesse is there, Pure to find another, and it's all up to Victor, needs to go huge. Four kills on the round is what he's going to need, but shot in... Let's go. I'm in. I'm temporarily an Envy fan for a couple of more rounds. Oh, Blades online, Twyfo and Pure go huge, but they're traded right back. That's about the best use you could make of the Cosmic Cloud, I suppose, but there's just a great little counter from the Viper the there. Area. There they are. And the spike oh to be planted, the recon bolt can get the information pushing on through as we do with the classic. That two of their other best of threes have gone all three maps. It's in a row on this map. We kind of have to go back to the footage. Well, yeah, but quick go. star, mummy, no op in hand, but still getting it done on the jet agent. ECJ locked down on the site, nowhere to go except for down. He will fall, and it's. A near flawless thus far on the pistol round here for Envy. Tony Bam, Mummy and Jet, not a bad combination. Even if you don't get to see it too, too often. Okay. Gonna be a tough retake now. Just pure in Wipo left, trying to come together through screens, trying to throw out all the robots to see if they can use them to get some room, but Envy not having it. Play up close and personal, I believe. A guiding light in the hand. There goes the cyber cage, and there goes Weeded, but. Mummy with this angle. Oh my goodness, mowing him down. They're trying to find something. Mummy eventually did fall. Unfortunately, we're in the last one standing. I say unfortunately, but he's starting to make it hurt here. You're going to have to buy up your bonus. Not much of a bonus here. Roll in favor of Exit on the defense. The spike to be planted. And Exit, you have one player to the good. Oh, Chipped wow. away as Aaron. Low HP. You'll gladly take that trade. And not a whole lot you can write home about. The economy is low here for NB when it comes to the Spectres and the Phantoms that they've got. No ultimates to use to try and secure this one. He's got to try and hold it down on site, but Exit making it so hard to do it. 
lot of chip damage being done, but it's like no one gets finished off on exit. They just keep charging forward. Victor finally the one able to end the life of someone on the opposite side. And the crafty have a crossfire no going. Victor tees off. He gets it back into one against White Foe. And he gets the quad with the headshot on the bone. Thinking that only one person had pushed you, but now he's going to get well and truly benched. And that's a done deal for Envy. They're going to go up 5-0 likely, unless Aaron and company have something to say about it. They get one. They get into a three on four, but still a step behind. Looking to just buy space and time, unfortunately for Weed, he's only able to pick up one finesse on the back end. Aaron going to work, but it's just not enough. So tough on Weed to hold this slide. He's got no rotation yet either. Yeah, and every bit of utility he tossed over towards B main, not only exactly goes by the wayside because of the paranoia cutting out the lights, but it only stopped one player. If anything, they push right on through it. Now BCJ, the last one standing in a 1v4, and he's not standing for much longer as Crash G's net to 2k at the end of the round. While also having flashes, I mean, Sky just has so much ability, and there's PCJ Khan. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he just got blocked by his own team. I mean, it's a small price to pay for though, in the grand scheme of things. Left turret, but negligible at best. Blast Pack's gonna put Victor on the side, and Aaron's holding it down. Twifo. Just off the side, playing out towards screens. That up shot goes wide. It's in the hands of Crashy and Dwyfo looking to make it hurt. They're holding down the A side. Caboose, the next one to be found. But instead, it's Dwyfo to fall. Caboose picks that up unscathed. As they grab this site, the spike to be planted. And in a 3v2 retake. Set down to their last two. They are going to try and stop things for a moment. The from the shadow is actually going to be stopped as well. Or quite possibly canceled. And we did. The player we highlighted at the beginning. Needs to pick up three to close out the round to put Xset on the board. Can he do it right here, right now? Crashes with the Trailblazers. Going to get shot down. Dark cover. Going to cover Caboose for just a moment. As we did swings, he picks up another. Now needs to find the third. He's got quite a bit of time to do it here. He has since been chipped away at, and Caboose is sitting nice and healthy. So a headshot from one will kill, but it will not do the same for the other. With the clock ticking down, we didn't get to find the angle. Caboose looking the wrong way, and Exeter on the board. HP on the jet. The rest of the squad pushing through the toxic cloud of the poison cloud, excuse me. Are gonna take that damage, but the game will come Ooh. back in pure matches. All with ult. You show me yours, I'll show you mine, and it's two for one. In sound, they're completely corralled on the site. Oh, Ooh. big shot there from Finesse onto BCJ. Gets it back into a three versus three. Still has the cam up as well for Intel, but the spike is still yet to plant. They still don't feel safe. And again, as you were already kind of referring to, some of them are so soft, but not. But Mummy coming through gets another. Waifo now going to be forced to use the lockdown for this retake, but now oh, he drops it right as his teammate dies. Now he's alone. They don't even have a full health bar combined, but they're still finding kills. How are they getting this done? Finesse will be caught, and Dwyfo might have enough time just to stick it here, and pros don't fake. He's going to do just that, trying to close it out. It's low HP, but the round is one exit to two. Oh, he actually detained Crash. He's so early from Envy, but again, so much control. 30 seconds left. And just because, no, it does seem like that site is free. I was going to say, just because heaven was free doesn't mean the site is free, but it is just that. Two quick kills will open things up here. With the battle back for one. Like you said, no ultimates to save him this time around. As Crash, he goes deep into the spawn and picks up another. The pink shells find a kill over towards B site. But the spike has since been planted over on this A site, and Pure now needs to find the ace to close <laughs> and a defuse to close out this round in XF style. Oh man, in use though, left. towards B side and in like vent position. Oh. Did he just sneak through into back halls? So that so BCJ was actually about to rotate, but the timing was just so poor. And well, the economy near 70% win rate defensively on this map. And with already 10 rounds in the bag, they're looking real scary. But a good entry from BCJ to kick off this pistol. Trying to use it to just collapse onto the A site with the Viper Balls. The A site is indeed empty. So they will be able to get a plant and they will have a 5 on 4 in their favor to hold off the retake. A couple of duelists going toe to toe is Pure and Mummy just outside the Nebula smoke. And Pure wants some more. The attack for the, the pistol on the attacking side for Xset. Looking to go well here. 1v4. Unfortunately, the boost maybe not long for this world as the poison <laughs> cloud comes down. 
as is Finesse. I believe another shot going wide. Oh my goodness, the flick on the pure. Pick out the first kill, and it was the lockdown defense that was completely scoured for a second. But Finesse and Mummy, they battle back. They pick up the kills they needed. They even find some extra damage. Now an operator in the hands of Twifo. This is the round that they need to win. Xset needs to pick this one up. And with full HP, Aaron looking to do just that. Boombot for some information. Crashy's the next to fall. An upgrade, a reload, and a 1v1 is where we find ourselves. The spike was tapped. But Aaron Rivy, that Victor's not on it, and there it is. Exit, get it done. Boy, it comes in to slow the Wifo down. And he's back sight. He had moved after tossing out the paranoia. So the jump peak with paranoia, rather than the knife in hand. Able to find one after reposition now inside the dark. There's a guiding light. The convergence on the site. Mummy with the operator has the angle, has the shots on target. Side of B main, just gonna be a faint. The spike is over towards them. Mummy gonna go up top. He jumps Ooh. into the lockdown and he falls. Pure finds that kill and a huge no way for way. Exit to battle back. No way he dashed into the detain. That is devastating. It gives Exa a lifeline here. Looking to come in with the showstop for his victor to try to put this to a halt. And he gets one and he's still standing for yet another. The counter showstopper lands, however, to get it back even. And somehow we find ourselves down to the last two, but Caboose picks up three on the round. And Envy pushed the match. To really sell it. Now, Envy able to make their way back over. And again, Finesse has neural theft. If you can find a kill or a body, you can pop that and that'll give them some ways to still make this retake work. And this is, this is about to be down to the wire. It's all down to this here. A 4v4, both teams down a player. Gravity Well gonna pull in one. Caboose trying to bounce away. It's gonna be vulnerable. Pushes on through, but it's got the snake bite down on it. Eight HP, he will fall through. Beast J to find the first. Aaron grabs another Whedon on the board and Mummy has to run for the hills. So they have a lot of early intel, but that stun pushes Man. Mummy off again. He's been countered so hard by BCJ. He can never get comfortable. Now this time he's repositioned over towards the elbow position. There's flick number one. It's Spike on the ground. It all comes down to this, but the operator starting to come online, and Mummy finds another flick. Now the blade as he gets sat down. It's a two for two, but Victor starts to come alive here in what could be the last round of the game. A 2v3 X set. Need to grab the spike. They need to get it down. It's so deep, though, into the site. Yeah. They have no real way to just snag it and escape. They have to commit Player deep into enemy territory. Not like this. It's a showstopper. Crashy spots a kill to sell a fake. And now put X set within two of overtime. Money gone for Envy. They have the one fan.